What is up guys, MidiBean75 here, and today I am back at the zoo and aquarium. Like I told you last week, today we are going to be looking specifically at the aquarium, so let's get into it. Alright, so at the front of the aquarium, as you can see, first off we've got our sign here that says aquarium. We've got some different fish on it. What I tried to do was, at the top, I kind of tried to make it look like it was water. Um, but with Minecraft, that was kind of the best I could do. And then if we go through the gate here, as you can see, we've got another map of the zoo. And this path, actually, I didn't show you in the last video, this path actually brings you from over here by where the camels are. And you can actually walk through this way and all the way around, and then that'll actually bring you to the front of the aquarium. So that if you come, you know, maybe a little Minecraft family comes with the uh, their old fam and they want to go through the zoo first, then they want to hit the aquarium second. All right, so uh, once we get up to the aquarium itself, as you can see outside, we've got a couple big fish up along the top. I just tried to make them look cool. Um, but obviously with Minecraft, there's only so much I can do. And then on the outside, these two sections here, I actually was going to put up some signage and I forgot to. Um, but these are just going to be where the ticket takers are. So any uh, people will basically come up, you know, you get your ticket for you and your fam, and then you basically head right in. All right, once we get into the inside of the aquarium, as you can see here, this thing looks sweet. This is just the, the top floor of the first section. Basically, as you can see in the center here, we've got some dolphins. And I don't remember what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, I believe. Something like that. There's a decent number of dolphins in here. And we've got the signage up, or we've got the uh, the seats up here. Basically, this is going to be so that there can be some sort of a show. And if we pop downstairs, this is going to take us to the first section of the aquarium. On this side, we've got the African lungfish. And as you can see, they're just kind of hanging out at the bottom. This, uh, this tank here is actually made to look like the bottom of the ocean. So, you know, I've just got... Some basic sand, a couple rocks, some bigger boulders in the background. And then there's nothing in the uh, the dolphin tank because obviously they're doing shows and stuff. So we want to make sure they have as, uh, as much room as possible. Over here, we've got cod. Because um, obviously cod is going to be a fish that's in Minecraft. And I just wanted to come through and have the best... You know, I wanted as many different fish as possible. And most uh, most places do actually have cod in them. So it worked out pretty well. And then if we pop down here, this is actually going to be one of my favorite parts. There's a bridge up above, too. But what this area is for is uh, there's sea turtles, obviously, as you can see. And underneath here, we've got a nice tunnel. And then if we actually pop back all the way up here, we go back to the top floor. And then if we walk through in here, here's you can see where the bridge is. I'm just going to jump up to get a better look. But on both sides, we've got some sea turtles uh, swimming around. And I just thought it was a really cool way to, to implement the sea turtles in. I could have put something along the bottom, but same uh, scenario with the dolphins. I didn't want to put too much because I didn't want it to end up just getting too clustered. And then if we keep walking through here, this is going to be the big open area of the aquarium, which I absolutely love. First off, if we go over here, we've got the orca whales. We got, I think there's three or it might be four of them in there. There's a decent number of whales in there. And then if we pop over here, these are actually going to be sperm whales. And these guys, oh God, these guys are massive, as you can tell. I think they are by far the biggest animal that I have in the zoo and aquarium. And then if we go along the top floor here, first off, we've got tropical fish and puffer fish. I decided to just kind of put them together. And there's just going to be, I mean, a ton of different kinds of tropical fish. We've got the tropical, um, like the coral reef in the background. And if we pop over to this one, here we've got some of the axolotls. And you, uh, the worst part is, I think when I was spawning all these axolotls in, I still could not get the blue one. As most people know, they're... Oh, we got a couple over here taking out some glow squids. Yeah, those stupid glow squids just kept spawning in here. So at least I got something that'll take them out. But yeah, I never, I don't have a single blue axolotl, unfortunately. Here we've got the Oscar fish. If you've never heard of an Oscar fish, they're pretty cool. They're fish that like you can basically like teach them to do stuff. It's kind of awesome. And then uh, if we go over here, we've got the salmon. Everybody's seen salmon, but same deal. I had to put them in. The salmon I like because I changed the whole inside, kind of like the way I did with the cod. How I put some dirt and some rocks and stuff in to kind of make it look like it's more of a stream rather than in the ocean and if we pop down here this will be the last section on this side we've got the mola molas I don't necessarily know what these guys really are but I know that they're big fish that live at the bottom of the ocean as you can see we've got a sunken ship down here 
And if we keep popping, go past the Mola Molas, what do we got over here? We've got the Dugong, which is like another, I don't know, it kind of looks like a manatee, kind of. I don't know if it's actually supposed to be a manatee, but that's what it kind of looks like. I've got another uh, sunken ship down here. We move all the way over to this one. Here we've got the blobfish. I know everybody, if you haven't seen the picture of a blobfish, just go on to Google and uh, give that bad boy a search. These fish are super interesting. So they live at the bottom of the ocean. Um, I've got the, the ship here to kind of represent that uh, pretty much for most of these tanks down here, I think. But the blobfish is a fish that is literally just a blob of nothing, basically. But when they're down at the bottom of the ocean, there's so much water pressure that it actually makes them look like kind of a normal fish. I mean, they're still super ugly, but up on the surface, they look like just like a blob of nothing. And then over here, we've got the Japanese spider crabs, which I think look super cool. Um, I'm a person who is absolutely terrified of spiders, but I love eating crab legs. And I have actually gotten to see these in person before at an aquarium. Um, I don't remember them seeming as big as what they do in Minecraft. Uh, but yeah, those are some that I would totally love to have. try some of them crab legs at some point. But yeah, so this is going to be the bottom floor, as you can see. Let's go, we can take a look at the, uh, the whales quick. There's the orca from underneath. God, they look so cool. And then if we pop over here... Here we can see the sperm whales. Let's go over here. Oh, my goodness, buddy. Calm down. Calm down. Get back in the glass. There you go. And, yeah, there you can see how big the sperm whales are. Just absolutely massive. But let's go back out to the front. Let's take one more look at the, the sea turtles. God, that looks so cool. And then we'll just go back all the way around here. And we're just going to go outside and take a quick look at the outside. All right, guys, so here you can see the outside of the aquarium. I hope you guys enjoyed how this thing turned out. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, it's, I think it's one of the coolest things I've done. And adding it with the, the zoo, I just think it looks so unbelievably cool. And I love the glass on top. I love that you can see in the inside. I love that it's so wide open um, because... I didn't want it to be super crammed. I've been to aquariums that have been kind of crammed in, and then I've been to some that seem to be much larger. There's much more space for people to walk around and see stuff. And really, that's what I wanted with this. Um, initially, I actually had even debated on going larger with it, but I got to the point where unless I wanted to just start putting in some, I mean, pretty much just basic stuff, for the most part, I covered everything that I wanted to. So with all of that being said, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you hit the like button down below. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It helps me out tremendously. So if you like the video, make sure you hit all that stuff down below. And aside from that, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure if you can download the, the, both of these builds, they're, the same link will be on both videos. So definitely go take a look and get those downloaded um, so you can really go experience it for yourself. Aside from that, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.